Tonight, we continue our investigation into an accomplished Tucson musician who's accused of trying to kill a random stranger earlier this year. We've learned he gave a warning the night before the crime. Chief investigative reporter Valerie Cavazos digs deeper into this disturbing case as we examine shortfalls and challenges in the mental health system. Michael Monahan is a convicted felon diagnosed with serious mental health disorders, schizophrenia and bipolar. He's admired by peers in the music industry and supported by friends and family. But the dark side of the disorders reared its ugly head one time too many. Caught on security camera outside a Home Depot, Michael Monahan suddenly bolts towards a random stranger leaving the store and strikes. I just saw some guy cut another guy in the neck. Moynihan runs off. He's arrested about two blocks away after flagging down officers who say he made utterances that he tried to kill someone. He told police he was excited that he was able to go through with the stabbing and he would try to kill someone if he was released from jail. This isn't the first time that Moynihan has been in handcuffs and in jail after bizarre and dangerous behaviors. Three years earlier at his apartment complex, tenants reported he had acted strange and paranoid about government spooks. One had called 911. Looks like he's carrying a black object, a black shotgun, which looks like. And then he asks me if you work for the government, uh, like, am I there to spy on him? This is a picture of the shotgun box Tucson police found in his apartment. Later that day, Moynihan showed up at a Circle K on Speedway with a handgun. We have a guy outside that's waving the gun. Is he pointing it at people or what exactly is he doing with it? Yeah, he pointed it at a couple of the employees here. Court records reveal while dancing and singing in the parking lot. He fled to New York with both weapons but got caught. Moynihan spent several months at Rikers Island in the mental health unit before he was allowed to post bond and return to Tucson with his family. Moynihan reached a plea deal, four counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon reduced to one. A judge sentenced him to five years probation. His conditions of release included taking his prescribed medications. Moynihan told the court his focus and that of his friends and family is to make certain he never again stands before a judge to be sentenced. But something went seriously wrong halfway through the probation period. The night before the stabbing, he uttered something bizarre and chilling to his mother. Moynihan told her he was seeing demons and wanted to kill someone. The next morning, she stated he was acting weird and left walking to the Home Depot. TPD reports she never called police. Why didn't she? I'm told it's common. Yes, that happens a lot. Sergeant Aaron Gibson runs the Pima County Sheriff's Mental Health Unit. She explains there's often a fear of what might happen. We'll go out there and, oh, I don't want to be arrested. Well, they didn't commit a crime. She says others worry about retaliation for reporting alarming behavior, that they might become a victim of violence. In Moynihan's case, it's all speculation at this point. I reached out to his defense attorney with that question, why a call wasn't made to police, but we haven't heard back. Records also reveal a judge gave him an early release from probation, and then three days later, he's arrested for attempted murder. Why was he given an early release? We have answers tomorrow night at 6. Valerie Cavazos, 13 News Investigates. Bond is set at 700.